Welcome to the 56th video in our series about Unix tools. In the last video, we learned some new motion commands, which I'll highlight here, and a way to scroll the screen up and down, which I show highlighted now. Now we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to learn about delete. And let's look at our file. We'll control F and we'll say, I know how to remove text. I can use DD like this. It deleted the line. I can repeat it with a number. I can delete to the next blank line. Or I can delete a single key. X, X, X. And of course, nowhere in here did we list it. So we've added that, and you say, how did you do that, Mr. Ham? Okay, go here to this blank line. I want to add after this, do I do a Shift A, append to end of line, right? Shift A, press enter, and then I put the U and some spaces, and that was an undo. And Shift A, last change, and then I come back here. I want, if I do a Shift A, it always goes to the end of the line. What if I want to open up a hole, push this line down, and start typing? I'll show you what I mean. If I do this, okay, I'm on this line. doesn't matter where I am on the line. <clears throat> and instead of doing a Shift A, which would come after, and I'd have to press Enter, I want to put it before this line. So I can use the Open command, which is Shift O. And now I'm in Insert mode. You can see that down here at the, at the bottom of the screen. I'm in Insert mode, and I'm ready to type. And so I can put that there. And we should probably add a note, you know, unlimited for VIM, only one level for real VI. And you need to be aware of that if you're working on some machine where the VI is not VIM. Okay, good news. We've added the undo, but I want some more ways to delete so first thing we need to do is go find some text that we want to remove so let's search backwards but we're going to use the question mark search because we're going to do a whole word we're going to look for line and i say no not that one so i'm going to press in 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 that one i want to delete that one you know why i don't know i just do how could i delete the word line we already know you could say X, 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 but wow, that's really slow. So, what's the smart way to delete the word? It turns out we already have a hint right here. You see D and then the next blank line. You can do D and whatever motion you want. And we know some motions, right? This will go to the next blank or punctuation. This will go to the next blank. So when you delete a word, you say D shift W. And that deletes a word, even if there's punctuation. But we can do it even easier. Because we know there is no punctuation in here, we can just say D W. Cool. This one had a numeric prefix. This command did. So I'm going to do an undo. And let's say I want to delete three words. Can I do 3DW? Yes, I can. And you begin to see the power. Maybe you're still a little confused, but that's deleting in a forward direction. Let's go to the end of the sentence. That's a shift dollar. And let's... Remember that backwards is here, 
Okay. What if we do a 3DB? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not quite what we wanted. Yeah? 3DB. And that happens because we're in the last column position. What if we do a 3D shift B? Still, same problem. And you say, man, what a pain. The backwards delete doesn't work. If we had a space here, and we did 3D B, it does what we, what we expect. But because there's no space at the end of the line, it has trouble. Well, let's try the beginning of the line and go to the right. Let's say 3DW. Uh, no problem at the beginning of the line, just at the end of the line. If you're in the last character and it's not white space and you do a backwards delete like DW, Oop, D shift B, and you D shift B. You can see it's not getting rid of that R for you. So things aren't perfect. But if you're anywhere else, if I'm here and I say 2 D B, it does delete two words. It left the space. Slowly, you will learn how it works. But let's. Uh, add these new things we've done. DW. Delete. And we should put an N there. Maybe not. Delete. Word. And 3DW. Delete three words. And then we had DB. Delete previous word. Need to be on white space when you do it 3db I know if you have previous maybe we want to have next how am I doing this I should tell you how I'm doing this so I was on previous here I want to get up there to delete word and say delete next word how would I move the smart way? Well, there are a million ways to do everything in VI. But let's do a 2KBI in EXT space escape. And that's pretty good. And then if I go JB, I can do that. Whoa! What did you do? Okay, I'm here. And I was right here. I, I think I had just finished that. So, J, B. And then I'm going to press the period key. The period key. And it repeats the last edit. Ooh, I love it. Does it work for everything? Well, let's see. If I am out here and I say JJ, I want to delete that line. I'm going to say DD. And then I'm going to move somewhere. I'm going to use the right curly brace to go to the blank line. And I'll do JJ and I'll press dot. Yep, dot remembered that the last change, not the last move, the last change was a DD. So it did the DD. Oh, but how smart can it be? If I'm here and I say three dot, yes, it's smart enough to put the three DD and it deleted three lines. So dot is fabulous and it's going to save you tons of time when you're having to do some quick changes. We've learned that DW and DB and in fact, Let's put a little note. D, X, 
where x is a motion. And you say, John, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not getting it. Let's go to the top. Let's say D, right parenthesis, deletes the sentence. We'll do a U now. And let's do a right parenthesis, and then I'm going to press the dot. Remove one, parent one sentence, because it remembers the last modify was a D, right parenthesis. I hope you're starting to see the kind of power and we could combine these motions that we've been learning with the D command. And we can say D motion and it will do it. Okay, let's do a big one. If you think of this, uh, we can delete to the next plank line. Ooh. So how do I do that? D right curly brace. Well, can we go backwards? D, left curly brace. Sure we can. And you think, hmm, that's pretty good. What if I'm here and I say, I want to delete the rest of the line. Everything from here to the end, I don't want it. I could, you know, DW, DW, D, oh, that's going to be too slow. I could say, you know, 99 DW. Oh, that went too far. So what do I need to do? Well, remember, dollar jumps to the end, right? The dollar sign. So just say D dollar sign. And that whacks the end of the line for you. And then we can go J. And we can say L and dot. And it'll do it. And you say, where are the spaces exactly? Set list will show you. Dot. So doing a set won't interfere with the dot memory. Doing a motion won't interfere with it. And of course I can just do a 3U and everything came back. Undo the last three changes. Powerful, powerful, powerful. Please, don't give up. There's a lot of commands, but there's incredible power with this editor. But we've run out of time in this video. I hope you come back for the next video. Well, we'll talk some more about inserts, but we're out of time on this one. I'll put the note here, open up a new line before current line and go into insert mode. Okay, we're done with that. How do we exit and save? You remember ZZ? And thank you for listening.